By building vacuum tubes for maglev trains to run in, speeds in excess of 3,500 kilometers an hour would be possible, making the trip from London to Tokyo a jaw-dropping 3.5 hours. Now that really would be massive speed. It's called an evacuated tube maglev transport, or ETT for short. Evacuated tube transportation technology is actually a patented, readily engineerable technology which is ready to be implemented into our society with current, existing, off-the-shelf technologies. Maglev bullet trains are already in use in Europe and Asia. These trains go 5 to 600 miles per hour and are only limited to going any faster by the air resistance and sharpness of the turns that they take. However, if you cover the track with a tube and suck out all the air, you get an evacuated tube with no air to cause resistance. This is the skateboard that underlies the sequel vehicle. The center of the vehicle is hydrogen storage. These are compressed hydrogen storage tanks. In the back, we've got something really pretty revolutionary here. We've got wheel hub motors where the motor is actually right in the hub. The other element of this is that now that we've put everything in the skateboard, the center of gravity is low, so the car is very stable, feels very good. And additionally, our designers have got all of that freedom to design cars that, that people want. The stuff. So that design flexibility is key to it. Are they interchangeable? Is this something that theoretically you could take one off and put another one on? Uh, yeah, we, we we, we've actually looked at the idea of changing body parts. In fact, uh, we have a hood that looks like there's an engine under there. In fact, what's under there is an air conditioner and all the stuff that's usually under the dashboard and um, all, all the real working parts are here. Everything that makes the high wire go, stop and steer is contained in an 11 inch deep chassis underneath here somewhere. Now there's no engine or drivetrain, all that's gone. There's no gearbox to worry about, there's no fascia, no pedals. There are no mechanical linkages between the driver and the driver. I'm the founder of Ecotricity. I've set myself a challenge. I'm going to build a wind-powered car. It'll be an electric car charged from the wind, so there's zero emissions from it. The system provides the shuttle, calculates the route, and The shuttle selects the correct system speed and takes its booked space on the track while you get comfortable. Also, at junctions, there is no need to slow down as space is reserved there as well.